Hello everyone, I'm Caitlin. And I am Jillian. And we are the hosts of the OK Drama Podcast. We're two friends recap and break down K-dramas. Yeah! Went with yeah instead of woo. <laughs> Changing things up a bit, I see, uh-huh. okay. Going into 2021, or 2022, <laughs> with a yeah <laughs> instead of a woo. Okay. Um. So I'm like super freaking excited to finally yeah, talk about is, crash landing on you this is a fun drama very good there's mm-hmm. a lot of crazy shit happening a lot of funny things happening mm-hmm. and a good amount of like romantic stuff it's yes. not annoyingly over the top or anything yes and the two leads have just the best chemistry mm-hmm. and um i it I like that they're not like overplaying the same storyline, yeah, with them yet. So, anyway, but we'll get more into that in a bit. But All first, right. uh, where can people find us on the internet? Uh, they can find us on our website, mm-hmm. okdrama.com. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's no podcast there. I no. forget which <laughs> one has podcast and which one does not have podcast, or which one just has pod, like Twitter, okdrama mm-hmm. pod. Um, Instagram, OK Drama Podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you can also find us on Etsy, OK Drama, where we have pins and stickers and stuff. We had a pretty cute Bong Soon sticker that got flagged as um, a copyright infringement, but it just linked to a TV website. Yeah. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But I don't, are... feel, I don't feel like fighting that. <laughs> Yeah, no. Um, I don't feel like fighting JTBC, which is like mm-hmm. one of the biggest. It's like the NBC of Korea, basically. I wonder if they just like searched K dramas and they were just like they that picked sounds... random ones to say were copyright, even yeah. though like we didn't take an artwork from them or anything. Very weird. We just took the name, yeah, and drew a portrait of her. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but whatever. I don't understand copyright but if y'all mm-hmm. want to buy one just send us a message or something yeah i guess we'll figure something out mm-hmm. um yes we also have a patreon where you mm-hmm. get bonus episodes and fun stuff like that and more just open the show notes <laughs> and <laughs> you'll see all of the stuff yes um okay so i guess we'll get started with wikipedia go Mm -hmm. into hey i know that guy and then we'll just run through the episodes so this is part one because these episodes are really long they're like goblin Uh length mini movies an hour and a half ish yes Um, 20 so we're doing the first eight this week which is why i was so excited to record (laughs) so we can keep watching Mm -hmm. we're left on a bit of a cliffhanger uh Yes, it's a pretty big one, if I'm being mm-hmm. honest. Mm-hmm. Um, and also, I think Jill just finished today. I did, yes. And I have been waiting. This is not on her. I'm just, like, a fucking freak and finished these eight episodes in, like, four days, basically. <laughs> so I, I like, blew through them. So I've just been like, okay, here we yeah, go. Yeah, I, f- I feel like normally also we record, like, the beginning of the month. Mm-hmm. We're at the end of the month right now. Mm-hmm. So technically, we both still had more time to watch, but yes. you just blew through it really quickly. And then I finally started watching again, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep watching because I know she's caught up. <laughs> and I blew through it today. Yeah, it's it's like really addicting. I feel like mm-hmm. once you get past episode four, like you mm-hmm. just need to keep watching. Uh, Agreed. So, okay. Well, first, Wikipedia. Uh, Crash Landing on You in Korean Sarang mm-hmm. Sarang Wee Bulshi Bulshi Chak which literally means Love's Emergency Landing hmm. which I think that might be cuter than <laughs> Crash Landing mm-hmm. on You but whatever um, it's a 2019-2020 South Korean TV series written by Park ji Un, directed by Lee Jung Hyo and starring Hyun Bin, Son Ye Jin, Kim Jong Hyun, and So Ji Hae. It's about a successful South Korean businesswoman and Chaebol heiress 
who, while paragliding in Seoul, is swept up in a sudden storm, crash lands in the North Korean portion of the DMZ, and it's an army captain in the Korean People's Army who decides he will help her hide. Over time, they fall in love despite the divide and dispute between their ex- respective countries. Um, it aired blah blah blah. It's the highest rated TV and drama and the third highest rated South Korean TV drama in cable television history. I feel like wow. every drama we do, it says it's the highest rated drama. Of that time. <laughs> yeah. Like, what are y'all basing that on? Um, <laughs> but yeah, so also... The two main leads, they fell in love on set, and now they're married. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a real song-song situation. (laughs) Hopefully a better ending. Yes, but to be fair, they're both older. Mm -hmm. Um, This is one of the things I like about the drama. They're both, they were both born in 1982. Mm. So I'm thinking maybe they're more on the same page, they're Mm -hmm. a little bit older. Um, I don't know. I, I just want what's best for them. <laughs> yes. But if you go on their Instagrams, um, basically the guy, Hyunbin, his Instagram is basically just like promotional pictures of him like that he has to post or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then just like him and her. Hmm. It's really cute. And then like there's some pictures of them together on her Instagram, but it's mostly just like her and her dog. <laughs> but yeah, like he just keeps posting pictures of them together and it's adorable. Or like just clips of Crash Landing on You, hmm. which is like a year ago at this point. Yeah. So um, anyway, it's just great. And I love them. So um, going on into Hey, I Know That Guy, there were so many. This is just like a star-studded cast. Um, and there's a lot of people that I've seen in other dramas and honestly, I didn't go through the whole dang cast because there's a lot of characters, <laughs> but I, w- I have a couple. Uh, so, Yoon Sejun, played by Tae Taejun. Who is Yoon Sejun? He's the oldest brother. Okay. I-, I thought he was one of the brothers. I wasn't sure which one. Yeah. So, he, did you recognize him from Mm-mm. Beyond Evil? Mm-mm. He's Park Jong Jae, the like, the crazy guy who drew the deer. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So I can see that now, yes. He was also a mystic pop-up bar, question mark. I don't recognize <laughs> him <laughs> from that one. Maybe uh, he was just, like, one of the little spirit characters, like, I, off somewhere or something. I'm, like, trying to reflect on it. He might have been the one that re- got reincarnated as a chicken and remembered. Oh, maybe, yeah. But that could have just been, like, a generic guy. I don't know. <laughs> I don't really <laughs> recall. Um, but yeah. Okay. And then Ko Myung Sok is the character uh, who is So Dan's uncle. Mm-hmm. He's played by Park Myung Hoon, who was in Parasite. He was mm. the guy that lived in the house. In the nice house. In the nice house. He was like the one that was like crazy mm-hmm. and was like mm-hmm. banging his head. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then. Uh, the character Na Wosok, who is the village head, recognize her, played by Kim Sung Young, was in Reply 1988 and Romance is a Bonus Book. Who was she in Reply? She was the mom of the boy who married... Oh, the, the, the single mom? Yes. Okay. Mom. Yes, yes, yes. It takes me a moment because also, like, especially the women... When they play, like, a much older character or they play a younger character or, like, the hair is totally different, yeah. it just, like, totally transforms their face. Yeah, it's totally. crazy. Yes, I recognize her now. Okay, cool. So, yeah, so those were the ones that um, we the three know. three standouts? Yeah, from the stuff that we've watched together. But, like I said, there's, like, a ton of people with, you know. And, like, the two main leads have been in a ton of things, too. So, mm. Um, okay. Should we start with episode one? Yes, let's do it. Okay. Um, oh, I noticed we didn't have the, um, what are they called? The reviews. But I guess you can do that the next episode, right? After yeah. After we, I like, watch we could, everything. Yeah. Watch it all. And okay. then we can read the reviews. 
All right. Yeah. Also, because next time we won't have Wikipedia or Hey, I know that guy. Yeah. Unless someone new pops in. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So episode one, a paragliding mishap drops a South Korean heiress in North Korea and into the life of an army officer who decides he will help her hide. Mm-hmm. Um, that fucking paragliding moment was so ridiculous yes <laughs> it like turned into the fucking wizard of oz or something uh-huh, with <laughs> like, the cow the like, cow and like houses and just like her complete like lack of understanding as to what was happening she'd be like oh what is that cow doing flying in the air it's <laughs> <Just>, like <laughs> totally oblivious as to what's going on yeah she was oh just like gosh. loving life like she just uh-huh. got appointed as the ceo she beat out her dummy brothers, mm-hmm. and then it was just like, nope. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, and you you immediately, like, find out how shitty her siblings are and their wives. Yes. Oh, like, my God, their immediately. wives. immediately. <laughs> like, these people suck. Mm-hmm. Uh, <sighs> that, like, the wife of the oldest brother is just, like, such a mess. Like, her little tofu cake. Mm-hmm. She's like, congrats on getting out of jail. Like, I feel like I wouldn't do that to my father-in-law, who is, like, the CEO of a very yeah wealthy company. Like, you do that to, like, your friends. Like, mm-hmm. ha, 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 tofu cake. Right? Yeah. Like, that's weird. Um, yeah. She's, mm, I don't know about her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and her, like, praying, like, oh, my God. Okay. Um, but, yeah, basically my comments were I would not have lasted wandering around. Mm -mm. i would just i would just have stayed there (laughs) or like in the tree yeah or being a dummy i would just been like sure i'll go with you like Mm -hmm. this is where i die (laughs) i'm gonna die in north korea yeah i would just i would just trust the north korean soldier because i wouldn't know what the fuck else to do right like i'm in the fucking woods here i don't know where i am or how to get out of here and i'm gonna die here yeah, like, even if I was lost in the woods in the U.S., if I see someone, I'm just going with them, <laughs> like... Yeah, sorry. I don't fucking know my way around. Yeah, Help absolutely me. not. That's just in general, too, I don't know my way around anymore. Yeah, no, I have terrible sense of direction. I don't yes. know, like, what is east or west or north no. or south. No. I don't understand inside the loop, outside the loop. <laughs> Which is a very San Antonio thing. I, and I do understand I, inside, outside, but... If um, I'm looking at a map, I would get it. But if you just say, like, oh, it's inside the loop, like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> Where is the loop? <laughs> Which loop? <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Just tell me where to go. Yeah. Um, <sighs> it's crazy. But I loved their little first meeting. Mm-hmm. With him stepping on the mine, he was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm a whatever. You can't find your way around here." And then he's like, "Click on a mine." Um, but yeah, this this also made me um want to know more about like kind of the history of North Korea because mm-hmm. I don't really know anything about North Korea other than like, don't go to North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> and it's uh kind of crazy and um not the kind of place you want to be in basically. But yes. I don't really know much about like the history or like the people there or mm-hmm. what the people can and can't do, which you kind of see here like the one soldier that's just oblivious to her running across cuz he's watching a drama <laughs> instead, which like Yes. I don't know how they get South Korean dramas. Like, they have a lot of, like, South Korean things in the country, like... Uh-huh. Um, like, black like, market stuff. Yeah, black market care. stuff that, that's that's coming through somehow. Mm-hmm. And it's it's interesting to see how, like, everyone has shit hidden mm-hmm. from South Korea. Nobody wants to admit it, or they can't admit it, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so it made me a little bit more interested in finding out the history, I guess, of, like, the two countries and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know how they get stuff. I think, like, m- maybe some of the stuff goes through China. Because, hmm. like, they can go to China. And then from China go to... Yeah. Hmm. Like, I think that's how a lot of the, like, North Korean refugees, they usually go through China. Hmm. And then from China, they get to 
Korea, South Korea, and then they like file for amnesty yeah. or whatever. But I read I, I read know. something like if someone from North Korea goes to a different country, like illegally, they'll send them to South Korea mm. because it, South Korea accepts anyone of like korea nationality or some shit like that yeah i just like very briefly read something online because i was like can these two people be together because they have to be together <laughs> yes. like we fucking know they're gonna end up together but i just want to know Do how are they gonna end oh, up God. they just have to I'm like i'm so scared it, it's not gonna it be can, a happy ending it cannot be a fucking like okay bye see you later sort of thing i know that last episode is misleading. I know it has to be misleading. Yes. I, I know just, they end up together. I'm honestly worried someone is going to die. I have no proof that I have I have no spoilers. I have I know nothing. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, if this is sad, I will be devastated. <laughs> I'm like already devastated through episode eight. Like we're still mm-hmm. on episode one, but yeah. Um yeah, back to your, like, original point. I I also think it's hilarious, and I don't know how they get the stuff, but yeah. it, it does seem like... Um, I have watched a few videos on YouTube of, like, North Korean people who have made it to South Korea, um, and they, like, react to things or whatever. Mm, interesting. Um, so they, like, eat KFC for the first time, <laughs> but then they also just, like, talk about, like, being North Korean and, like, their mm-hmm. experience of like you know being outside of North Korea mm-hmm. and some like they're when they talk about their experiences in North Korea I'm like fuck like that sounds so terrible because basically mm-hmm. oops I dropped my phone um basically it seems like what we're what we're seeing is like the lives of relatively wealthy people mm-hmm. in North Korea and like the average person doesn't have access to a lot of that stuff and like Mm -hmm. um the one of the guys was saying like they eat so much corn in north korea because even rice is expensive and like they don't have like access to a lot of rice farms i guess like that's Mm -hmm. more of a southern thing so they basically just live on corn and i was like oh my god (laughs) that's really sad like they hardly ever eat meat because of like the refrigeration issue Mm -hmm. and also like Mm -hmm. They don't have any. But I was like, oh my god, this is... Not just the eating, but just the general... Just in general. The state of living for, Mm -hmm. I think, the average person is just... Yeah. Not great. But, like, there are, like, a lot of... Like, in Pyongyang, there's... It's mostly just wealthy people, and they do have more modern... Mm -hmm. Whatever. Accommodations. Interesting. But yeah, crazy. Hmm. But I, I love the to little. I look up those videos. I know. I love the little guy who uh, watches dramas and he <laughs> kind of like translates. Like yes. Um, I think also in this episode, maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's episode two. We also see a car get hit by like a giant truck thing. Oh, yeah. And then a woman gets murdered. Yeah. Who like witnessed everything? Like a woman that was trying to hitchhike or something. So like mm-hmm. at this point, we don't know what the fuck is happening. With this giant truck, mm-hmm. or why they ran over and hit this car and ran over this woman and stuff. But, mm-hmm. like, that's a weird, like, side story that's happening. Yes, that's a stressful side story. Uh-huh. Um, okay, yeah. Let's just get into episode two, because I also okay. don't know when that happened. Okay. Um, after talking to Jong Hyuk and his comrades into hiding, in her, hiding her in his home, Seri gets a taste of his way of life. Gu Sung Jun buys refuge in Pyongyang. I thought that plot is also interesting. Like, the guy Mm -hmm. hiding in North Korea. Mm -hmm. And, like, I guess that's a place to hide. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, he's apparently gonna hide in a fucking mansion. Yeah. That, like, looks amazing. Yeah. It's like a fucking home on Selling Sunset or something. (laughs) Um, But no internet. But yeah, yeah, like, ten years or something, he has to evade south Uh korean authorities some shit like that yeah the statute of limitations for like fraud or whatever Mm -hmm. and he's is he the guy in the very beginning that is like pictured with seri um is that somebody else i think that's an actor okay just kind of looked familiar from the first episode i mean they're both like handsome 
Yeah, we, we end up finding out later on that the two of them do, in fact, know each other. And yeah. Sort of dated, not really, but kind of, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, um, okay, yeah. So, blah, blah, blah. I thought the scenes of Jonghyuk buying stuff for her were kind of cute. And, like I said, I love her interactions with the different soldier guys, especially the drama loving one Mm -hmm. he's adorable but i also love the kind of moody one the one that's like always complaining about her being there and how (laughs) she's gonna get them killed like he's like such a little bitch but also like you can tell he loves it like he he's helpful and he likes her and stuff and they all get along Mm -hmm. but he just loves to be kind of a jerk yes (laughs) those two are great the other ones i don't find super memorable yeah they're just um, they're just nice boys. They're nice boys who help her out. Mm-hmm. I did feel bad for the the baby, like the one who's like only seventeen, where he's just like crying. He misses mm. her running by because he's crying mm-hmm. in the field. Mm-hmm. He misses his mom. <laughs> oh, so sad. Also, I think their mandatory military service is like ten years. Oh wow! Not like eighteen months, like in mm-hmm. South mm-hmm. Korea, like so long. So when you're in the military there, you're really in the military. <laughs> yeah, you're in it. The, not Jesus. for life, but for like a really fucking long time. It's crazy. It's um, like a career. Yeah. Oof. I know. Um, okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, the fiancé, I was like, oh my god, do we... I mean, it's a K-drama, so we need a love triangle <laughs> like, slash love square. But I'm like, uh, I have mixed feelings about her. Yes. I want um, to like her, but... I'm but like, she's also kind of shitty. She, she is, because I'm like, technically, like, she hasn't done anything wrong. She's just kind of an a-hole. Mm-hmm. But she's really pretty, and I'm like, I want you to be happy with someone else. Like, mm-hmm. leave these people alone. <laughs> She'd um, probably be happier with Gu Song Jun or whatever, mm-hmm. honestly. Because yeah. they seem to... I don't know. They something about, chemistry. like... Yeah, they work better than her and Jung Hyuk. Yeah. Um, this is also the episode where they're doing like the mandatory house checks, right? Yes. I and that's where they're they're seeing everybody's South Korean things or fucking singing rice cookers and shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, and then they the one like shitty officer mm-hmm. who has a problem with Jung Hyuk. Mm-hmm. And he, like, wants to go and search his house, but he's not there. But then they see, like, a drink was out or a candle was there or some shit. And then they find her, and she's, like, in the food storage area. Yeah. But just kind of, like, cowering. I know. She didn't hide very well. I would have, like, tried to hide under potatoes. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, under bags of something, you know? Uh-huh. Just kind of, like, look like another lumpy bag. Yeah. I don't know. Like, as soon as they opened it, she was there. Not, like, in your bright yellow cardigan or (laughs) whatever the hell she's wearing. (laughs) Yes. Girl. Yeah, she got found out real quick. Yes. Because also, like, in their little, like, storage cellar thing, she had to, like, pick up that carpet Mm -hmm. to, like, and I'm like, you should have, like, thrown that, like, so it doesn't Mm -hmm. look disturbed. I don't know. Yes, yes. I know she was panicking, but I'm like, you need You've to gotta know how to hide. You need to do better, girl. Sorry. You're in North Korea now. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. But yeah, the that was just a whole stressful situation mm-hmm. at the end. Yes. And so at this point, um, he borrows a car to go to the house to get her because mm-hmm. he knows they're doing checks. He borrows a car and he borrows a car from his fiance's uncle Mm -hmm. so we find out he has a fiance and then he introduces Sadie as his fiance yes (laughs) who boy Uh, I like how they were all like moving like the little traffic cop ladies were like parting the sea of cars for him yeah that was a great scene Uh Um, also crazy that everyone recognizes that's like an important car based mm-hmm. on the license plate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Interesting. Um, but yeah. 
Um, episode 3. Jung Hyuk invents a bold background story for Seri, but Cho Chol Gong isn't so easy to fool. Sodan returns to North Korea. So, all right. Yes. So, Jung Hyuk says that she is from South Korea, but she was a spy in South Korea. Mm-hmm. So Division that's why 11. she's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Division 11. And, and that's all you can say about Division 11, people. Mm-hmm. You can't. No you questions. Can't, yeah. No questions asked. You can't divulge any more information. So it's kind of like story ends here. That's yeah. it. Very convenient. Um, mm-hmm. I would mm-hmm. just say everything is Division 11. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, don't even want to talk about it. Um, so, yeah, but he introduces her basically to the village and is like, this is my fiancé, don't ask any questions. And then you hear the ladies talk shit about her. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, she's me. not very pretty. Uh-huh. Um, I forget what else they say about her, but, like, they're still standing outside, and you can clearly see the two of them standing out there as the women are walking away, like, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so yeah, shitty. Yeah, like, like, he could do much better than her, and, mm-hmm. yeah, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, oh my god, these catty old ladies. <laughs> um, so that, uh, soldier guy, whatever the fuck his label is, mm-hmm. he gets another guy to wiretap his house because he's extremely suspicious he does not believe that this woman is from division 11 he doesn't know who the fuck she is Mm -hmm. but he wants to find out who she is and again he really has it out for jung hyuk um and also jung hyuk is kind of trying to investigate the weird accident that happened Mm -hmm. like he's 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 he knows some weird shit is happening but he doesn't know what so he's also trying to do that stuff Mm -hmm. and i think that's um raising some red flags kind of suspicious they're like suspicious of each other but they don't mm-hmm. really know why mm-hmm. exactly it's like i've got my eye on you kind of a thing. yes so this wiretapping system works very well because they're able to hear outside uh-huh. they're also able to hear inside which mm-hmm. is like really crazy yeah um but they're hearing a lot of drama talk and the one soldier who like wants to know more about the drama he's watching and, like, how it ends and this and that. Do they end Uh up together? Does so-and-so die? She's trying to explain it to him, but she's also getting annoyed because it's an old drama. And she's like, I don't know why I keep talking to you about this already. Like, I I don't care about this show anymore. Uh And so this guy is, like, listening in, and he's taking notes. And he's like, Like, what does this mean? Yeah. Who's Who died? (laughs) Uh, and, like, I love the little arrows and, like... Yes, everything's, like, plot in this weird, like, I don't know, fucking diagram. Yes. He is, like, one of my favorite characters. Mm-hmm. Honestly. Because mm-hmm. he's, like, throughout this series, he just kind of, like, cries with them and, like, mm-hmm. laughs along with their jokes and stuff. And he knows, like, things that are happening on both sides. Yeah. So he kind of has, like the opportunity to either save a life or let someone die. Yeah. He has a lot of power. Yes, but I don't think he wants that. No. Just, like, get me out of here. Yes. Um, we'll talk about it later, but his conversation with his wife is just, like, uh Mm-hmm. So sad. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, so we get more information about, like, the crazy truck stuff mm-hmm. and, like, very worried about everyone who has witnessed crazy truck stuff anything yeah yeah like very shady shit but Mm -hmm. um oh and then yeah we get more like sodan stuff like Mm -hmm. she's beautiful she's back in north korea from russia Mm -hmm. let's get married yes (laughs) okay so episode four when her escape plan falls through oh wait so yes or no hmm I don't know when this happens, but okay. Uh, when her escape plan falls through, Sadie turns to another idea for a way out. Dan heads to the village to see Jung Hyuk. So I think in episode three, they make the plan for Sadie to like leave by boat. Mm-hmm. So they call it like boat to boat, I guess, mm-hmm. where you sail out to international waters and then you like jump on another boat. Mm-hmm. Um,. But the Coast Guard guy is, like, being a butthole. I guess he's doing his job properly. (laughs) But he's, like, not accepting bribes. 
and they're in a pickle, so they do, like, the fake kiss, like, Mm -hmm. distraction thing. I guess that's how episode three ends, maybe? Um, I don't know. But anyway, so after that, like, uh, Sadie's, like, you know, obviously, like, super distraught because she's just watching the boat that was supposed Mm -hmm. to take her, like, fucking honk their horn and sail away, like, so (laughs) sad. Um, and she is like, I'm not, I'm not messing around anymore. And she's like, I'm just going to paraglide back into South Korea. <laughs> Terrible idea. Mm-hmm. And thankfully, John Hyuk finds her and we get another real wild green screen situation where he's like, let's just jump. And he, they jump. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> and he's just like holding on to her like a little monkey. Because also like soldiers are coming too right because they got her little walkie when she had it on yeah and he's like how long has this been on which is like crazy that like they can they're on the lookout for this shit and they're like immediately going to that location yeah he's like we gotta go (laughs) they fucking paraglide i forgot about that that's so funny and he's just like hanging off of her (laughs) like one hand around her head like the other so weird yeah i mean it's cute but it's also like (laughs) okay whatever it looked relaxing like it looked like a relaxing little paraglide situation i mean yeah it was beautiful Mm -hmm. Um, it looked a lot better than her first paragliding moment (laughs) yes i would definitely prefer the second to the first Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. (laughs) um so yeah so then i think we see that sodan goes to the village Mm -hmm. i don't know if this is where she introduces herself to the ladies as the fiance, but she definitely meets up with what's his face? Gu is his name Gu Song Jun? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, because the car breaks down and uh, she gets a ride with him. Yeah. And so. Yeah. I don't think she tells the ladies at this point, mm. but I think she gets there and she's kind of like walking up to the place and he is walking with Siri and he's like, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, yeah. And he finally, like, tells her, like, I'm, like, actually supposed to be engaged right now. Mm-hmm. And she's just like, what the fuck? And what happens if this person comes here? Like, what did, What about your plan then? And he's like, well, she's not. She's in Russia right now. Uh-huh. And she's in school, whatever. Like, I've thought this through. And then he, like, <laughs> walks through, and there she is. Oh, yeah, so bad. Oh, Yeah, because this is, this is another cute episode where the ladies invite Sadie to, like, the birthday party. Oh, yes, and, and she makes friends, finally. <laughs> yeah, because she's, like, kind of standoffish, but then she's like, I need to get him promoted so mm-hmm. he can, like, whatever, be of a higher Yeah, so nobody station. asks questions. Yes, and, like... Because she's like, people are just walking all over him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and not knowing that he's actually, like, the son of a super rich and powerful person also. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, the birthday party scene was really funny. Yeah. So, yeah. Those, those women are silly. Yes. Um, my turn, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Episode five. Jungkook agrees to marry Don sooner, as his parents wish, but they must do him a favor first. Sojung catches a glimpse of Seri. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I don't remember why he goes home or what happens. I think this is where he drives Sodan home. Mm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. then afterwards, he's like, okay, we'll get married, but like, help me with the national track team. Yeah, and he, he tells uh, Sodan that Seri is actually someone from, like, work or whatever. They have a secret mission they're doing. She's not Mm going to be here long. They're just finishing things up. It's very, very top secret. Everything's fine. That's all it is. Yeah. Which, of course, she does not believe. Right. She's like, I don't give a fuck. She is, is in fact, a woman. Uh Uh-huh. She can (laughs) read through that bullshit. Um, But she's just like, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. All right, we're getting married, so whatever. Yeah. Um, his parents want him to get married quicker, and I guess they have 
clout with this fucking like track team i don't know (laughs) yeah i guess i think his dad is just like a super super duper high like anyone and everyone listens to him yeah um and so this is um attempt number two to get seri back to south korea yeah with the idea that she's gonna be sort of an alternate in this track team Yes. So they need to get her a passport. She's going to fly out with this team, I guess, to – I forgot where it was. Maybe, like, London or something. Mm-hmm. And then she's just going to disappear. Mm-hmm. And by disappear, she's going to go back to where <laughs> she belongs. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, I'm just reading my notes. And I think this is also the episode where Sari, like, gives all the boys finger hearts. Oh, yes. So in, an, in a previous episode, she gives Jong – the finger hearts Mm -hmm. a finger heart and they're like what does it mean what does it mean Mm -hmm. and like the little drama boy is like I mean she likes you she's giving you her heart (laughs) and then she like gives hearts to everyone and this line just like stayed with me and cracked me up he's like her lousy capitalist heart (laughs) how many hearts do you have (laughs) and she's like what what does that mean (laughs) yeah yeah he got all upset Mm -hmm. Um, very pouty Yes, and then earlier, too, when she was first going to leave on the boat-to-boat thing, Mm -hmm. she gave all of them awards. Yes. And, like, little gifts, and he didn't get anything. (laughs) He didn't get any award, and he was, like, kind of quiet. Uh-huh. But also, like, looking around, like, where is my award? (laughs) The fuck? Yeah. (laughs) Um, So so part of this whole thing is them needing to get to the location to get their photo or her photo taken. Mm Mm-hmm. And they do this by train, and the train just stops, Mm -hmm. and they're like, we're going to have, the train has just stopped for like 10 hours, it's broke down, I guess, (laughs) and she's like, 10 hours, what the fuck? And he's Uh like, actually, it's probably going to be longer, like 13, 14 hours. She's (laughs) like, what? like, what? (laughs) And then on the other end... That fucking guy who's evading South Korean police is Mm -hmm. also on that train, and he's also freaking out. Like, what the fuck? Ten hours? What is this? Oh, yeah, because also, another side plot, Sadie's brother has found him. Oh, yes. So he's going to pay the people who are, like, basically chaperoning (laughs) um, Sung Joon into, like, He's gonna pay them tenfold, apparently, to mm-hmm. give them to give him back to those people, so they can get their monies. Yeah, it's it's all a mess with that guy. Yeah. Um, but there's like a cute moment outside of the train because apparently it's warmer outside of the train with the fire than inside of the train. Uh huh. And she like sees people with blankets, and she's like, "Oh, they have blankets. Did they bring those with them?" <laughs> And he just, like, looks, and then he disappears to go buy her a blanket. Uh And then later on, she's like, oh, they have corn? (laughs) That looks so good. And then he just kind of rolls his eyes and gets up. (laughs) Yeah. It's really sweet, but just, like, you can tell he's, like, both annoyed, but also, Mm -hmm. like, secretly smitten by her. Yes. And, like, ready to do whatever for her. Totally. Um... I also like how she was like, I have my own money. Thank you very much. Because she like mm. pawned her little, her super expensive watch for like $15. Yes. But. Uh, and she also mentions to him like, there was a men's watch there too oh, that was really no. nice. And he was just like Whatever. totally ignoring her. But uh-huh. she was like, it's like, it was weird that it was there. It was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, Which was his brother's watch. Yes. Come uh, to find out. His Crazy. dead brother. Uh huh. Um, and so earlier, also, uh, Song Jun saw Seti. He was like in his car, mm-hmm. and she was walking with um, Jung Hyuk. I think it was before they met. They like came across Sodan, um, but he just like kind of looked like that. Looks like someone I know. Uh huh. The fuck. It looked just like her. But he's just thinking, like, that that doesn't make any sense. Like, what the fuck would she be doing here? Yeah. And then here, they're outside, and they're, like, I don't know how many feet away from each other. They're not very far away. Yeah. So it's just crazy, like, these two people who we come to find out later on were engaged 
are both in North Korea, like a couple hundred feet away from each other. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> um, so then also, uh, I can't remember if this is episode five or six. So I'm just going to read episode six mm-hmm. and then we can kind of go back and forth. Okay. Um, so episode six. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Going back to episode five, sorry. Okay. So they get to the hotel. She gets her picture taken. She's like, why don't we get one of us together? And he's like, no, mm-hmm. that's stupid. Forget about it. She me. gets so sad. Yeah, she's like, I guess you're right. And then he's like, can I get an extra <laughs> for him to keep? Um, but then uh, they go to the hotel and they're like kind of moseying about. They're at drinking coffee some nosy bitch calls <laughs> Sadie and is like, your man's at a hotel with another woman. But then also, uh, Gu Sung Joon sees Sadie and is like, gotcha. Mm-hmm. So, like, she, he kind of runs off with her and, like, Jung Hyuk kind of goes after them. And that's where episode five ends. Mm-hmm. So episode six Don is less than happy when she hears Jung Hyuk and Sadie are at a hotel together. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sung Joon plays what cards she has to save himself. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so this episode is basically like the two past couples, I guess, kind of figuring mm-hmm. stuff out together. Um, and basically, Sodan like kind of bullies Jung Hyuk and like. So Dan and her mom basically bullied Jung Hook and his family to being like, we're setting a wedding date. It's next month. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Sung Joon is like, hey, don't kill me. I'll give you half of your money back and I'll deal with your sister for you. And it's just like, again, really shitty because I think he thinks like, oh, they'll want her back. Like, I'll yeah. help get her back. But they're like, no, just keep her there. <laughs> yeah. Keep her there. We don't care what you do with her so just make sure she doesn't come back i feel so bad too for her mom and her Mm -hmm. dad i don't know what the story is with i want to know more of her background because yeah she's not the biological daughter of the mom Mm -hmm. but i'm like is she the biological daughter of the dad or did they just adopt her like yeah they call her the illegitimate daughter but i don't know yeah and she had that like little moment of being like when she gets lost in the market and he like finds her with a little mm-hmm. candle, mm-hmm. it's scented mm-hmm. this time. <laughs> like that was a funny thing. Like, but um, she like is just counting, like mm-hmm. trying not to have a little panic attack. I guess. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm very curious about her past, but um, I also like how I think it's in this episode. Sadie is like just you know we're like it's fate that I met him here. Like, he said it's destiny. Mm-hmm. And he gets all competitive. He's like, that's not destiny. That's just a coincidence. Like, I met he you. He was like, you literally, like, flew. <laughs> yes. And he was like, and then you fell on me, and then you ran away, and you ended up right outside my house. <laughs> She's like, okay, guys. She was like, that's a coincidence. He's like, what? <laughs> He's like, what you're talking about is a coincidence. What I'm talking about is destiny. <laughs> It's so funny. And she's like, do you want to be my destiny? And he's like, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so. Um, also, it's like, it's super interesting too when that woman calls Sodan to like tattle uh-huh. on Jung Hyuk. And right away she's like, yes, I know Jung Hyuk is at the hotel and I know exactly who that woman is and I'm meeting them later today. Thank yeah. you though. Like, wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah. real good at playing it cool she and totally then she immediately is. hangs up and she just tells her mom like I have to go I've got an appointment uh huh and she turns into like her bitch mode ready to like mm-hmm. fight someone yeah so later on in the episode is where she's saying her goodbyes again mm-hmm. I think um I don't know what episode this is but i like their little like clam bake thing mm-hmm. that was cute and they're like they're playing the drinking game mm-hmm. and this is where the wiretap guy is like playing along with them <laughs> um but yeah so oh no this is the one with the picnic so she has a little picnic with the boys 
Mm-hmm. She saves the pig. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, I'm not eating that. Um, and she also like says goodbye to the neighborhood ladies. I also love that they're on her side. They're like, that lady's a bitch. Like, <laughs> you deserve to be in love. Um, and they're like getting ready for her to leave again. And she's kind of bummed because Jong Hyuk is like distancing himself. Mm-hmm. Um, but in the next episode, we realize he's preparing mm-hmm. because shit's about to hit the fan, and he kind of yeah. can see that. Mm-hmm. I think he also is like kind of clued into the wire tapping because he like, I feel like he looks at the box and like speaks kind of to it at some point about mm-hmm. the plan. Um. But yeah, so basically the next day, the like cute little soldier boy, the one that she says was the most handsome, he drives her and like those crazy trucks come. Mm-hmm. And two of them. Yes. And then Jung Hyuk is there riding alongside on a motorcycle. And I think it ends with them like getting shot. Yes. So I forget. Yeah, it ends, it ends with him getting shot. Yeah, so uh, somewhere along the way, the other military guy, like the bad military guy, I don't know if he knows who Seti is yet. But basically, he just knows that she's trying to get out, and mm-hmm. he's just like, I'll take her out. And he Kill still doesn't know. Stone. Yeah, he still doesn't know at this point who she is or, like, what her deal is. Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, at that moment when, like, that boy is trying to drive her away and it's like crazy uh-huh. and suddenly he, he shoots one of the tires from one of the trucks and then he just like fucking slides in with his motorcycle uh-huh. and his hair is like swooping <laughs> in the wind i was like damn if she wasn't in love with him before like okay like could you not look any fucking cooler <laughs> holy yes. shit but then he gets shot, and it's I like, oh my god, that's sad. It's shot so in her fucking arms, protecting her. I know. Oh, and then earlier, my note just said the most romantic slash saddest handshake, where they're <laughs> just like, nice to know ya, but there's so much longing. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, it must be, like, so weird, because she needs to go back. Mm-hmm. Like, she can't stay there. Yeah. Obviously. But they have this obviously huge connection, too. And it's like, uh-huh. what do you do with that? Yeah. <sighs> uh, okay. All right. Seven. We're getting we're getting near the, the middle here. Uh-huh. So, episode seven. A flight out to North Korea awaits City at the airport, but unwilling to leave Jung Kyuk while he's injured, she brings him to the hospital instead. So... During that shootout, not only did he get shot in the back, but the other boy gets shot in the leg. Mm -hmm. And she's like, give me the keys so I can drive. Like, you can't drive with your leg like that. Uh And poor Jung Hyuk is like, fucked. Like, he's turning pale. He's dying. He's Yeah, he's like sweaty. He's losing Uh a lot of blood. And they're like passing a sign for a town. And she asks the other guy, is there a hospital there? And he's like... Yes, but you need to go to the airport. Like, we uh-huh. need to go there first, and then I'll I'll take him somewhere. And she's like, what if he dies before then? Like, we don't have time to do that. Uh-huh. And so she makes the decision to just turn off where she needs to go. Um, and she's driving, like, really crazy. And he's like, I think yeah. he's going to die in a car accident out <laughs> of a gunshot. Yeah, I um, love how she's like, my favorite movie is Mad Max Fury Oh, my Road. God, I forgot. <laughs> it's so stupid. He's like, I'll oh run over God. some cones. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> I don't think that's her favorite movie. Like, so and like he would know what me. Mad Max is. <laughs> I know. Um, so they get to the hospital, and it's just like in this little town. Like, uh-huh. it's it's a tiny little hospital. They don't they don't have like fucking anemones you'd have here, for instance, or something. Uh-huh. You know, like in a big city. Um, and so they're, like, checking him out, and one of the problems is he's lost a lot of blood, and they don't have blood to give him, so they need to find someone. And the guy's like, I don't have the correct blood for him, like, I don't know what they're gonna do, and she's like, what type does he need? Mm -hmm. And I believe it's an O, and she's like, I'm an O, I can help him. Uh And he's like, no, you need to go to the airport, like, you can still make it if you leave now. And she's Uh like, 
thinking about it, but she's like, no, like, I can't. Yeah. I can't let something happen to him when I could have saved him. Uh-huh. So, of course, she gets blood drawn. She saves his life. Um, he, like, barely makes it out, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's crying. She feels bad. She's, like, watching him sleep. She, uh-huh. whatever, finally wakes up, and then he's mad at her. He's like, well, why are you still here? Yeah, he pushes her off of him, which was like, oh, Like, mm-hmm. he's, like, not pulling any punches. Like, he's really pissed. And I kind of understand in the sense that, like, hey, I almost died for you, which he would have died yeah, had she not stayed with him. Uh-huh. But, like, I almost died for you. My soldier dudes almost died for you. And we can get in huge trouble. Like, we went through all this to try to get you out of here. And if it's going to work, it was going to happen this time. But you're still here. Like, what the uh-huh. fuck are we supposed to do with you now? And I think another thing is also, like, he doesn't want to, like, quote-unquote catch feelings for her. Yeah. So he, like, needs her to leave. You know, he's supposed to fucking marry this other woman. Mm -hmm. And the date's been set. Like, you were supposed to go away. Yeah. (laughs) To make things easy. Yeah. Um, So I love her response. It's just like, "Um, I know you're still coming out from Amnesia, and you have a lot of feelings, (laughs) so I'm just going to let you cool off, and I'm going to walk away. But she's like, crying yeah she's very sad yeah and then which i would too because Mm -hmm. like there's no right or wrong answer in that situation Mm -hmm. Uh, i guess the right answer is to not let someone die but yeah like he said it's complicated but then the doctor comes in and he's like oh my god your girlfriend she just keeps crying all the time like she (laughs) cried when you she gave you her blood yeah she cried while she was giving you blood she cried when you came out (laughs) She's and, crying over there right now. Yeah. And so then Jong Hyuk is like, oh, shit. And they're like, yeah, she saved your life. Without her blood, you would have died. Mm-hmm. So then obviously he feels really bad. And then they go out. Like, of course, it's raining. And she's like, I wish I could go somewhere, but I can't. Which is, like, the worst feeling. Mm-hmm. Of, You're like, just stuck. Yeah. Um, but then he comes out. And they kiss, and it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. But then the next day, the nurse is like, I saw these two people kissing, and it was disgusting. Like, so much PDA. <laughs> it's <laughs> so stupid. There's, like, nothing. <laughs> They're all embarrassed, or especially, oh, like, junk. His, like, blood pressure is rising. <laughs> yeah. She's like, are you okay? Are you are you dying again? He's blushing. So um, silly. Yes, but then stuff gets a little crazy. Oh, and, like, Sadie's, like, so we need to talk about last night. Like, basically her three options are we're not doing anything about it. Like, Mm -hmm. just going to let it lie. And, but meanwhile, she's, like, sewing a freaking heart patch (laughs) onto his jacket. (laughs) Yes. Um. So, yeah, so he thinks it's really cute, but then his military babies come and so dan and her mom come and of Mm -hmm. course she sees the jacket but then also the military dudes come yes the military the bad military dudes come because they finally find him Mm -hmm. and they're like we know he's the one who like shot up the trucks Mm -hmm. um so then uh but then Sung Joon also comes. <laughs> Everyone's coming to this freaking hospital. So basically, Sari gets away, like, just as the military people are coming. And it's, like, mm-hmm. a lot of commotion. Um, I like how she meets that, like, girl who's, like, illegally watching BTS on her <laughs> phone. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and she's like, who's your favorite? And then she just says Jung Hyuk's name. And she's like, uh-huh. that's not what are you talking about who is that (laughs) yeah um but then later she's like oh yeah you're the cool guy that the cool south (laughs) korean lady was talking about i get why you're her favorite and he's like smiling um (laughs) he's all happy Mm -hmm. um so i can't remember exactly what happens but basically what's his face jong hyuk is like i need to find her Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, because they realize after the military guys are gone that 
she's nowhere to be found. Uh-huh. And so he uses the cameras. He, like, looks at the, the cameras to see where she was and see she got in the car with that guy. Uh-huh. And then the older um, officer guy, older um, soldier, is like, oh, that must be her boyfriend. Like, uh-huh. she left with her boyfriend. Now she doesn't want to talk to us anymore. She could have at least said bye. Yeah. And he keeps saying, like, no, that's not her boyfriend. Like, you don't understand. Like, no. Yeah. And he keeps he keeps talking about it over and over again. He's like, no. It's not they used boyfriend. to be engaged and they're not anymore, okay? Like, <laughs> that's not her boyfriend. And everyone's like, she was engaged? <laughs> and then it just, like, continues. It gets worse and worse. Uh-huh. But he needs to find out where this guy is because he needs to go get her and he can't get a hold of her. Mm-hmm. Um, he gets his phone back and um, he calls that number. Mm-hmm. and Or actually that guy calls him. Um, what's his name? Gu Sung Jun or something? Yeah, Gu Sung Jun calls him and he thinks it's her and he's like, no, it's me. She's here, but like you don't need to talk to her. Like mm-hmm. It's all good now bodyguard yeah you don't you don't need to worry about her anymore and he's like let me talk to her and he hangs up on him Uh uh-huh and all the soldiers are like he hung up on him what happened (laughs) yeah (laughs) um and then that brings us into episode eight basically yes so uh synopsis is uh, keeping Jung Hyuk away from Seri turns out to be much more difficult than Sung Jun <laughs> anticipated. Chol Gong stays on their tail. So mm-hmm. somewhere along the way, Jung Hyuk finds them, like mm-hmm. through a in series, the big mansion. Yeah, through a series of favors and wandering around the woods. Mm-hmm. Um, he looks great in his non-soldier uniform, by the way. Yes. Very handsome. We love a South Korean man coat. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and turtleneck. And turtleneck, yes. So while that's all going on, Sunjun is basically dropping truth bombs on Sadie because, like, all of what he's saying has a point. He's just, like, an asshole. Mm-hmm. So we don't really want to listen to that. But, like, mm-hmm. he's basically saying, one, you might like him, but, like, He's already married. He's going to marry someone else. You can't uh-huh. stay in North Korea. Like, the longer you stay here, the more danger you're putting him in. And, like, uh-huh. he can't come to South Korea. Like, so just drop it. Like, you just need to break it off with him. Yes. And, and also, in episode seven, what we missed, his fucking fiance sees her photo in the magazine. <gasps> That's right. And flips out, and then she goes to him, and she's like, is her name Seri? Uh Uh-huh. The girl that's been fucking missing in South Korea? Like, did you know this? Uh Uh-huh. And he admits yes. And she's like, and you've been helping her? Yes. Even though you can fucking die, and everything, like, life as you know it can be, like, shattered? Uh Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, and he says, like, I have feelings for her. Yeah, and he's like, he was like, I was ready to marry you even though I have no feelings for you, Mm -hmm. but I don't think I can marry you if I have feelings for somebody else. Uh. Ah! (laughs) Ah! Too late, I don't. I don't know what's worse to hear that he has feelings for somebody else, or that he's never had feelings for you and has no feelings. Oh, like fuck. I know. Those are huge bombs to throw on her. But she, he like leaves her there, and mm-hmm. then she meets up with um. Her, I keep his forgetting dad. that asshole's name. She meets up with the dad, but we don't really see their conversation. But uh-huh. she also meets up with uh, Song Jun. Oh, and right. she's like, do you know this girl? Because you were having coffee with her at the hotel. Mm-hmm. And he's like, okay, yeah. And then she tells him, like, I know who she is, and I'm going to tell authorities. And he's like, you're going to get your fiancé in trouble. And she's like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, I don't care if he fucking dies over this. Like, I'm <laughs> going to tell them. Uh-huh. And he kind of stops her by saying, yeah. like, we just need to keep them apart. Yes. And that's where his plan comes in to propose to her, propose to Seri, that is. Yes. 
no <laughs> i know it, it's like too much guy like you need to like slowly work up to that first you need yeah. to make her feel comfortable in the house like get her away from jungkyuk for a while mm-hmm. and then be like this is our plan but yes. like it's all too fresh right now and like mm-hmm. um it's just like so devastating so basically jungkyuk finally finds them now we're up to like where <laughs> yes and she has the ring on because it's Christmas and <laughs> it's snowing. It's, it's just a great drama to watch right now this yeah, month. <laughs> it's, it's all happening real time. Uh-huh. Um, but basically, she does that thing where she's like, go on, get out of here. Like, mm-hmm. I don't love you. But clearly mm-hmm. he does. And I think he can... He- he also tells her before, like, when she's when he's fighting with those guards outside, uh-huh. he also tells her, like, what do you think you're going to do? Like, stop him and, like, be with him? Like, his fiance already knows, and you're going to fucking get him killed. Yeah. Like, she's going to go and tell on you, and he's going to die, and it's going to be your fucking fault. So, like, why are you going to go and try to be with him? Just stop. Leave him alone. Yeah. And he's like, don't walk out that door. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but she's like, basically, she's being mean to him, and just mm-hmm. like, your none of your plans worked. Like, Sung Jin has a plan for me to get out of here. Like, it doesn't really involve any ruses, <laughs> or like, it doesn't involve Jung Hyuk. Like, they can separate, blah blah blah. And he's like, do you really feel that way? And then he like wipes the tears off of her face. Uh, and he's and he's like, just like, I understand. Okay. Yeah. And she's like, okay. And so then he just has to walk away because they're in the middle of the fucking woods. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, or, like, also remembering, he just got shot, like, yesterday or the day mm-hmm. before. Like, mm-hmm. he's not in the shape to be, like, getting into fights and also walking in the woods while it's snowing in, the, like, a blizzard. Yeah. So Sadie is like, I'm taking the car. I'm just going to drive him back to the hospital. Yeah, she didn't even tell him. She just fucking leaves. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> God damn it. And then his little assistant guy slash captor is like, <laughs> uh, that car's out of gas. <laughs> and so, of course, they get stuck in the car. And then they're like, they walk to... An school. elementary school where they mm-hmm. build a little fire, and it's just, like, a lot, because they clearly both love each other, but she was just really mean to him and basically broke up with him and was like, I can't mm-hmm. do this. Um, But then he's sick, like I said, like, probably battling infection and just mm-hmm. a cold and miscellaneous yeah. ill things <laughs> with his body, so... She drives him home, and he's, like, kind of sleeping. Oh, also throughout the episodes at the very end, we get these, like, little flashbacks of both mm-hmm. of them in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. So we can kind of see that they've always kind of been around each other mm-hmm. for a little bit. But anyway, um, so she's, like, decorating the house for Christmas. Again, they're still, like... They basically have reconciled at this point. Mm-hmm. But she but she's like, no, I, I'm going to have to leave. And she pawns her ring and like buys I'm going to have <laughs> I'm going to have to leave. But then she pawns the ring. Yes. I guess she's like, whatever. Go Sung Joon will just get me another mm-hmm. one. It's fine. Um, oh, I love how the other lady is like talking to like the pawn shop guy and is like, <laughs> she's going through a bad breakup like. She's not going to come back for the ring. It's fine. Um, (laughs) So, yeah. So she pawns pawns the ring, gets a bunch of stuff, buys the watch, Mm -hmm. his brother's watch, and then gets kidnapped. (laughs) Yes. Ah! So, at the end, he gets a call from her, and he's, like, waking up to all the Christmas stuff, and he's, like, really happy um because she like writes him a little note and like makes a little christmas ornament and then she's like goodbye forever basically (laughs) and he's like where are you where are you she's like don't worry about me but she's like sobbing obviously she's been kidnapped Mm -hmm. 
and then there's a gunshot. Mm-hmm. We kind of glossed over a lot of stuff. Because also, there's, like, the thing with the wiretapper, because he's also, like, I don't know where they are. Like, mm-hmm. he lies. Yes. He confides in his wife, like, these people who have been really great to me my whole life, I have to betray them. Mm-hmm. Which and sucks. admitting to his wife that, like, he's basically the reason why his brother got killed. Uh-huh. And I don't know how the wife is just, like, so calm about it. <laughs> She's just like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. That's but yeah, this guy is like battling some stuff and he's like, if anything happens to Jung Hyuk, I don't know how I'll ever live with myself. Like mm-hmm. he's he's having a rough time. Yeah. Um also oh, so also Sodan has bought an apartment nearby. Mm-hmm. And her mom is, like, buttering up the military boys, trying to get info from them. But she's like, I don't remember because I got too drunk. Mm-hmm. She, she heard everything, apparently, from yes. that one guy. <laughs> but doesn't remember anything. And she, like, wrote it on her arm, but uh-huh. none of it makes sense. Yeah. Um, that mom is a weirdo. She's, she's a trip. She's pretty funny. She's a bit much. Yeah. I would be very embarrassed if she was my mm-hmm. mom mm-hmm. but also i'm like she has to look out for her daughter she's a single yeah. mom and she don't give a shit she'll just go for it <laughs> um but yeah so there's like a lot of subplots going on we still mm-hmm. need to worry about the truck we need to worry about sonan and whatever's going on with the families obviously we need to worry about sadie mm-hmm I feel like the guy just got annoyed because she was taking too fucking long, and he just, like, shot up to scare her or beside her. I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Because he was, like, waving his gun in her face, like, hurry the fuck up, bitch. Uh Get off the phone. Yes. (laughs) Stop using my minutes. (laughs) (laughs) Because earlier, so, Gong Cha, whatever, Chol, whatever, Mm -hmm. Chol Gong, is that his name? Chol Gong, yeah. Um, He finally realizes that Sadie is South Korean. Mm-hmm. And basically, he's like, because uh, Sung Joon is like, we didn't have to kill them. Like, mm-hmm. he's mad about the truck incident earlier. And they're like, you just told us that she had to stay here. Yeah. Like, you didn't say alive. <laughs> um, so there's like all this interplay. And I forget why Chol Gong wants her dead. I guess it's just like another two birds with one stone situation. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh, because the he tells the other guy, like, I know, he tells another higher up person. He basically bribes them and is like, I have a South Korean person here. And he's like, bring me, bring me the evidence, basically. <laughs> so ugh, there's just too much, too much in a good way, kind of. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, but it on- makes it, it makes it a little harder to do like an eight episode recap. Yeah. And remember everything because there's like so many subplots and people to remember and stuff yes but y'all get the gist of it uh-huh in this hour-long conversation for real you get and the gist of what what happened hopefully by 16 everything will be kind of like tied up mm-hmm. or forgotten about <laughs> um <laughs> yes but yes so i am like like i said earlier i'm really scared that they're not gonna end up together mm-hmm. uh I feel like they have to, but then I also feel like, well, maybe they don't have to, (laughs) but... No, I feel like they will. I feel like they will, and he's gonna fucking do his piano shit again. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. We should just both move back to Switzerland. That's mentioned a few times, and Mm -hmm. that seems to be like a dream of his, Mm -hmm. and he lost that once his brother was killed, and I think it's all gonna come back. Okay. He's going to find out who murdered his brother. He's going to find that watch from her. She's not dead. Mm-hmm. He's going to fucking rescue her, looking all cool and good looking. And she's going to be like wide eyed and like teary eyed and just uh-huh. like, holy shit. Um, she'll have a wonderful goodbye send off with the boys. Mm-hmm. Get her out of there somehow. And he's going to go with her or something. Uh, or they'll meet up somewhere, maybe. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because this is, this is a South Korean drama, so he doesn't need to stay in North Korea. 
Yeah, it seems he's, like the only he's gonna get out of there. It seems like the only person that like truly loves him in North Korea is his mom. His mm-hmm. dad kind of seems like a, a jerk. So and just like doing his job, like he's he seems like someone who's more about his job than his family necessarily. Yeah, yeah. and maybe more so after the son died. You know. Uh huh. His mom was like, if this is moving too fast. (laughs) We can wait. (laughs) Yeah, like, no rush, no rush. Um, Yeah, I really hope, I I hope everything you said happens. Those are my predictions. I just, I just want them to be together and be happy. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't want this to be, like, oh, we meet up once a year kind of thing. Mm-mm. I want them to either be together or not be together. Yeah, no, I think they're going to actually be together. <sighs> okay. Because um, I also feel like he wouldn't be able to live in North Korea anymore after all this. That's true. He Like, even if he finds out, out corruption in the military and, like, uh-huh. murdering of his brother in the military, like, behind closed doors sort of thing, like, that's not going to get him off the hook for saving a South Korean woman and, like, hiding her and trying to get her out. And he's not going to rat out the boys. Right. So he's going to put it all on, all on himself, but he's going to somehow, like, get out of there. And her dad also knows that she's alive. That's that came right. out, too. We didn't, talk, we didn't talk about the guy that works for her, the sweet, chubby dude, who's just like, <laughs> yeah. I get chills when I hear the voice. I know it's her. It's like a reaction. <laughs> Like they they got her they got her on the walkie that time uh-huh. when she was like calling out when he was like how long has this been on uh-huh. and it's uh the guy that works for her and her insurance guy her life insurance policy yeah. dude who's he's like, like we can't she's pay this dead out. <laughs> no <laughs> it can't be and he's like adamant that they need to find her uh-huh. and then they hear her voice. They send it to her brothers, but her brothers don't give a fuck because yeah. they're assholes. The brothers are like, keep her there. Yeah, they're like, that's not her. Fuck off. Uh-huh. Go away. But they finally get to the dad, and they're like screaming, like, she's alive. She's alive. And he like gets on the elevator, uh-huh. and the older brother uh-huh. is like trying to get them to stop and trying to get bodyguards on them. And uh-huh. then the dad comes back out like, okay, what's happening? Yeah, like... You knew Thank she was alive? Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. Yes. Uh, <sighs> I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. It's- so I feel like the dad is like a big conglomerate dude. Uh-huh. Probably has like some powerful people on his side that can do some shit. I don't fucking know. Yeah. So I feel like fucking Daddy Warbucks over here <laughs> is going to come in and save her somehow and bring him with her. Yes. That would be I don't great. Know. And then something has to happen with Goo Sung Joon and Sodan. Mm-hmm. They have to end up together. Yeah, he can't leave anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then at that point, the guys that are after him in North Korea aren't going to be around because they're the corrupt dudes. Mm-hmm. So they won't be an issue anymore. She can be with him and be happy and they, they can, can be go, like kind of snooty together. Like, yeah, they can go to Russia or whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's all going to work out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I think I was literally crying when oh, no. when she gave her goodbye to him, and she's like, "Get out of here," uh, because like it's so sad. Because I'm just like, mm-hmm. they can't be together. Like mm-hmm. in the current situation, they can't be together, and it's yeah. heartbreaking. <sighs> and they love each other so much already. <laughs> mm-hmm. Definitely. Um. Oh yeah. When. Right when the gunshots happen, she's like, I love you. Oh, yes. Bang. Mm-hmm. So, okay. All right. Do we have Eight more episodes? Anything else? Yeah. Guys, stay tuned for part two. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. I'm excited. Yeah, um, a lot has happened. <laughs> a lot has happened. Guys, tell a us. A lot more will happen. Yeah, tell us what you think. Tell us your favorite parts from part one and give us some, like, kind of spoiler free thing yeah no spoilers two. please or just send us an email and put like spoiler and then i can mm-hmm. read it later yes um but yeah i guess that's it for now mm-hmm. um stay in touch until part two comes out and we'll talk to you then goodbye goodbye okay